Hey people on YouTube, Land Zach Hall back here. Want to do a Bible review for you on the Rock of Ages study, a Rock of Ages study Bible. Um, put out on Rock of Ages prison ministry. And so I did a quick kind of overview of this as far as the outside and just the price. So again, these are eighty dollars from their website right now. I think they're a killer deal because they're edge lined leather. So it's got a calfskin liner and then a calfskin cover. Beautiful perimeter stitching. But today we're gonna get a little bit more on the inside of the Bible. So real quick, we'll hit the outside. So it is a brown calfskin is the one I got. So hopefully it'll show you the color of this brown. Here's the black common man's reference Bible. Here's that brown calfskin. So it's a beautiful, rich brown. I really love the color of it. It does come with four brown ribbons that are very nice and complement the Bible very well. And then, of course, you've got the five spray spine hubs. But you do have their... Um, Holy Bible, Rock of Ages, Study Bible, KJV, and then their logo. As you can see here, it is tabbed into the block, so it does have reinforced binding. It does have a family section. Show you an example here. So these are more of a parchment color, so they're more yellow than they are white. Show you there. And right after that, you're going to have the title page to the Bible. And this is the 7th edition, first printing. Here's a Romans Road. I'm glad that they put this in here. So again, if maybe you're afraid of, you know, sharing the gospel or, you know, you don't have um, exactly what to say in your mind, here's a clear, short little thing you could even memorize how to share the gospel with somebody to give them the good news of what Christ has done for our sins. Then moving this, you're going to have some copyrights, what it was before. So this used to be the Pilgrim Study Bible put out by Oxford, and then Rock of Ages Prison Ministry bought the rights to this. So they uh, have the rights to this Bible now, and it is printed in Bounty United States of America. There is their prison ministry address. You have contributors here, so you have the executive editors, general editor, you have the executive staff, and then the board of directors. Then you have contents, so you're going to have um, the Old Testament that's going to be broken down into all the books of the Bible and what's in the Bible. So you're going to have the introductions, the contents that are even in, in that Bible. So here you have Genesis, you have the days of creation, you have dispensations in the Bible, covenants in the Bible, and it goes through all the things in Genesis and so on and so forth throughout the entire Bible. And then, as we get into an introduction here, show some of the features. So the text, that you're going to talk about to use the King James asterisks are to um, give you some references to words that are common in the scriptures with a list of scriptures that reference it. You have in-text outlines, show you more about that, book introductions, Articles, study notes, maps and charts, dates, subject index, and a concordance. Then here you're going to have about the Bible and its author. This focuses on the how the Bible was composed and compiled. Then you have a history of how we got our English Bible culminating in the King James Version. And then you'll get the Old Testament. And I'll show you the study helps you're going to get from this. So here you have a page concerning the Old Testament. So this goes in a little bit about the Old Testament is. And then you're going to get an outline of Genesis. Okay, so you're going to have a title page here. It's got the theme, beginning of the world, background, Genesis beginning and ending. Here you're going to have an outline, and it's going to follow this outline throughout the whole book. This will actually be in the text for you. So you can see one here says the creation in the beginning. So then you have one, the creation. Then you have down here two, days of creation. And as we go through here, you can see this right here. Two, days of creation, first day. Now as you look at this text, it is a 10-point font. Very more modern than a typical King James, so it's very easy to read. Um, you can see the verse numbers there are a little bit smaller than the verse number, or the, the words themselves. So sometimes they can be a little bit harder to see in the text. But now one thing that you'll find uh, interesting about this Bible 
is that the, f the footnotes at the bottom are not keyed into the text. So you will not find here any letters or numbers that indicate there's a note at the bottom. So what you actually have to do is go to the notes, find the verse and chapter, and then you have to look through the text to see if there's a note on there. Now they also have these gray boxes that define key the theological things throughout this Bible. So here you have a box on what the firmament is. Here you have a box on the days of creation. And again, this Bible really does focus on a new Christian, although it has a really good or a lot of information even for more mature Christians. But this really focuses on new Christians and their walk with the Lord. And so it's going to go over basic Bible doctrine. It does slant dispensational. As we can see here, it has dispensations in the Bible. So you can kind of see what they think there. It looks like they break it down into seven. So you have, of course, the age of innocence, age of conscience, age of human government, age of promise, age of law, age of grace, and then age of the kingdom. So that's how they're going to break up the dispensations. But then also you're going to see they also have covenants as well. So not only do they recognize dispensations or different times how God dealt with people is pretty much a simple definition of dis dispensationalism, which I'm not anymore, but this is still a helpful study Bible. You also have covenants in the Bible. These are really cool because you get to see actually what God promised to people in each covenant, how he keeps those promises, so that's very helpful as well. Here's a cool list. So here you have some of the names of God. So this is pretty cool. So when you see those in Scripture, you can find those and know what they mean. Here you have the breakdown of what the Ed uh, Edenic Covenant is. You have a thing on types in the Bible. So you're going to have these helpful little boxes all throughout the text. And then you'll have some of these articles put through here as well to give you more in-depth study of different topics and themes in Scripture. So here you have the role of the serpent. Okay. So you have those all throughout. You have here the fall of man. Here you have the Edemic covenant, the promise of a savior up here. So there's a lot of good helpful things in this Bible to help your studies. So here's, oh, here's even a helpful thing. Here's a list of clean and unclean creatures that the children of Israel could eat and touch and a list of ones that they could not. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. It does not want to focus. Well, there you go. Maybe you can see it from that distance. So it does have a lot of helpful things in it. Here's an article on the Day of Atonement. What that was. You can tell it does have a little bit of a shine on the, on the page here. Um, you're going to have the page numbers at the top here as well. You'll have then the book number and the chapter number in the corner. And so there's a couple things that I want to show you guys as far as some of the cool features of this Bible. So you're going to have a whole article here on between the Old and New Testaments. Then you have an introduction to New Testament ministries, or excuse, New Testament missions. And this is a really good article. So then you have the New Testament title page, and then you'll have, uh, just like you had a concerning the Old Testament, you'll have a concerning the New Testament article as well. Then you get in Matthew, again, you're going to have your background, theme, writer, summary, and an outline to it as well. And then you have the text. So here you can see, again, you're going to have the short little things, articles in there to help you. You have in-text maps to show you what's going on in that text. So those are really, very helpful. So you can see a lot of the helps that you get in this. Now here's one I want to show you just how it slants dispensational. So the Sermon on the Mount, it goes here at the bottom. We can see the message of the Sermon on the Mount is not for the unsaved. There is no gospel in the Sermon of the Mount. The way of salvation is not declared within it. So their stance on this is that the Sermon on the Mount is what the government of the millennial kingdom will be, and that people live, live will live by these laws in the millennial kingdom, so they're not necessarily 
for the Christian today, but they are applicable to the Christian is the stance that they will end up taking on that. Here's uh, some of the red letter as well. As you can see, it's in a red letter edition. Very nice. The red is very clean. And it doesn't fade a lot throughout, so it's very consistent. And we'll get to one more spot here that I want to show you. <clears throat> So this also is going to take a very local church approach as well. So they're not going to believe in a universal church. And so you, I'll just read this article to you here on Ephesians 5.32. And uh, let's see if I can get that to focus there. Okay. So it says the church. The word church or churches is found 114 times in the New Testament as in the idea of an assembly. Only 15 times does the word not refer to a specific body of people assembled in a specific location. The word literally means a called out assembly, so ekklesia. Um, so that's the word, Greek word there. The meaning of for church would be a called out assembly of baptized believers organized and covenanted together to carry out the Lord's great commission. A true biblical church is one local, the church of God, which is at Ephesus, Churches of Galatia. So here they're giving you an example that you can actually go to a specific location to find the Church of God. So, you know, the Epistle to the Ephesians, Epistle to the Galatians, the Epistle to the Corinthians, the Philippians, Colossians, so on and so forth. So the church is at a locale. It is an assembly. Visible. It can be seen. An invisible church cannot assemble, serve, preach, baptize, fellowship, give, or evangelize organized so it's not in chaos but in order having officers pastors deacons ordinances baptism and the lord's supper orders preach the gospel to every creature it is christ's church he is the head all should be done for him anything eternal is accomplished by him so that's going to be their belief on the church now we'll get to the back here as we've seen pretty much everything we have about the bible itself here are the list of words that have um, a, uh, asterisks next to them in the text. So this is a subject index. And so you'll have an asterisk in the text, and you'll have the word. You can come back here and find it, and they'll give you more references of that word and where to find it in the Bible. And that goes on for a little while, too. So it's actually a very helpful subject index. And then you have the concordance. This is the new Oxford Bible concordance, so it is a very in-depth concordance. This literally goes on for probably at least 160 pages, if not maybe a couple hundred pages. It is a very in-depth concordance. Then you're having a couple blank pages here for notes. And you get right into your maps. And these are the older Oxford maps. And there's there actually is quite a few maps here. So you get nine maps there. A couple more cardstock. So again, that's the Rock of Ages Study Bible. Um, very readable. Would highly recommend it for a new believer or an older believer. Again, if you buy a leather edition of their Bible, um, they send two vinyl or paperback copies to prisoners that are in prison to study the Word of God um, because they have a lot of these ministries all over the United States. And again, for a full-blown calfskin Bible, for 80 bucks, that's edge lined, and that is this easy to read and study, and the notes are in general very helpful, very uh, practical and applicable. I think this is a great Bible to buy if you're looking for a, a basic study Bible that's not going to have too much of a controversial um, stance or, you know, where someone's going to say something crazy that may make you cringe or something. This is going to be a good middle of the road type st uh, study Bible for you. And so if you do want this, again, it's $80 from their, their website. I did want to mention real quick, I did take notes in it with a Pigma Micron pen. So I wanted to show you how that looks. So you can write quite a bit in this margin here. It's actually pretty wide. You can write at the top and the bottom as well. <clears throat> and there is some room to fit some notes in the center as well. 
But we'll look at the other side here so you can see the writing there. It does ghost through, but it does not bleed through. So if we go over here, see there's no Pigma Micron bleed through. So the paper is good to use Pigma Micron pins on. So that is the review. It is a it is a pretty thick Bible. It's probably about inch and three quarters thick, almost two inches thick. So it is very thick Bible. It's about uh, ten by seven. So it's a very actually manageable size. I can hold that easily in one hand and even hold the Bible fully open. Oh, if I can get my one hand to it, there you go. In one hand, pretty comfortably. So, if you did want to take this to church, I actually wouldn't see you having any issue bringing this to church and following along with your pastor or if you're at a Bible study or something like that. So, if you guys have any more questions about this one, please feel free to reach out to me. Maybe I didn't answer something specifically uh, that you're maybe looking for, and so I definitely could do that if you have a question or a comment on it. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great night. Take care and God bless.